watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry. But uh, here I am again. Uh, today I'm going to do my heavy metal and hard rock final collection. So yeah, like 30% of this is Alice Cooper. I got like 11 albums of his. I think it's one EP, but uh, I think I'll well, run 11. Not sure if I have more, I don't think so. But yeah, let's just start off. Um, it starts off with Killer from Alan Scooper. Really good album. Not that big of a fan uh, of the like, Alice Cooper band. I'm not one of those people that's like, Oh, Alice Cooper's solo albums are way worse than his uh, band. Honestly, to me, it always has been about Alice Cooper himself and not the band. Even though I like the new lineup, I don't really care much for the lineup at all. It's it's always about Alice Cooper, you know, to, to me at least. Uh, so yeah, I don't really, <laughs> I couldn't care less, honestly. I think his solo albums are just as good as some of the band albums. Some are better, some are worse, and it switches up between them. Some band records are better, and some solo records are better. For example, this this record sucks. <laughs> um, Schools Out and Looney Tune are the only really good songs like that at least stand out. Um, but yeah, this is Schools Out, um, and you got like the names from the original band members here, which is cool. And this one is an original pressing that uh, opens up, as you can see. You got a photo of the band there. Honestly, the old packaging for this vinyl is, is way better than the album itself. Let's just open this up so you can see what's underneath there as well. You see, you got a little desk over there. So that's really cool. And there are a lot more like uh, albums by Alice Cooper that are just packaged in such a unique, fun, awesome way. This is one of them. Then over here we have Welcome... Welcome to my nightmare. Um, so yeah, great album. Some people's favorite solo album by Alice Cooper. Definitely not mine. This one I'll actually get out of the inner sleeve as well because I want to show you that this one is purple. It's color. It, and it's fun because you can slightly see it. Like now I can't see that it's purple. I can see it on the screen there, but I can't see it like in real life. You see that? It, it's very subtle. Like from a far distance, this looks, and from the right angle, it looks black. But the thing is, you can't see that on camera, so I look like a dumbass saying that. As you can see, I only have uh, two records of the original band, but that's just because I, I didn't get any other, I didn't really see any good deals on uh, any of the band albums. Go to Hell. Alice Cooper goes to hell, which I love that back print there. It's a decent album, but it's I rather listen to this as a whole. Like I don't um, even before I had this album, I didn't really listen to any of these songs uh, themselves. Like for example, "You Gotta Dance" is a disco song, and I hate disco, um, so I. Um, but the whole story of like the devil making you dance to disco, uh, as well as the listeners to his album, that's quite funny. And I actually don't skip that song because of that story. Uh, but if I was listening to Alice Cooper uh, on Spotify or something, I would I would skip that song. And over here we got one of his best albums from the inside, and this one opens up as you can see, and you got like the. Uh, Insane Asylum, I guess. I don't know really what's a better way to call it. Um, you got the quiet room here, which actually opens up, as you can see. That's awesome. You got Alice sitting there, all lonely. And then inside, or actually outside, you can open this door and you can see Alice Cooper running out of the uh, asylum institution. I think that's a better way to call it. Then over here, we got one of my favorites. This is the first one I got together with another album that will come to later. But uh, Raise Your Fist and Yell, that album is so awesome. This is definitely top top five, 
If not top 10, add a scoop around uh, material. For me at least. I'm gonna love the inside artwork with that scooper as a skeleton. And honestly, I've listened to this song album over and over and over again. I don't know all the lyrics um, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> They're like scratched into my heart, the lyrics for this album. I know them that well. And the same, the same thing goes for Trash. This one also, uh, these lyrics are also scratched into my heart and will be there until the day that I die. I love these, this album so much, this is probably my favorite album, um, but there's just one competitor that might be my favorite. I switch around with these two, but uh, at least this is number one or number two when it comes to favorite album. Because it always switches around with this album over here, Hey Stupid. Um, this is newer repressing as you can probably kind of tell by the glare and the condition, but it's a badass album. Uh, from the title track, Hey Stupid, to Loves a Loaded Gun, to Teenage Frankenstein, or uh, I mean Feed My Frankenstein, every single song on this album is awesome. And the same thing goes for Trash, of course, but uh, yeah, I, I, I still switch them out. So this might be number one, might be number two. Whenever I get around to doing a ranking video, of Alice Cooper albums, I'll cut a decision for just that video, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and we have Brutal Planet, which is also a really good album, it's industrial metal, it's quite heavy, and uh, you got a badass photo of Alice over there, almost at the end of my Alice Cooper collection, I just gotta show you this one, Dragon Town just came around, this arrived like a few days ago, and it's a really good album. I didn't listen to any of these songs for months because I pre-ordered it and I knew I was gonna get it and just re-listening to everything, every song was just so satisfying because I really want to really listen to this album but I wanted to wait until it arrived and then when I finally got to listen to it, it was amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite albums. I prefer this over Brutal Planet. Um, even though I love Brutal Planet too. Here you got some cool photos of uh, Alice Cooper. And then this one. There are only 1,500 uh, copies of this one. But the inside is really cool too. Or the final itself. Oh yeah, look at that. You got Dragon Town on some awesome orange vinyl. Which I love it whenever they match uh, the vinyl color with uh, the album cover, which they definitely did for this uh, album. And here we got another really good album, Dirty Diamonds. Cool photo of Alice on the back again. This one also has a great track list. This one was also re-released. This was really rare beforehand, um, but now I got it too. Dirty Diamonds, and then the final itself is also really cool. It's red, and just like I said earlier, I love it whenever they uh, match the vinyl with the cover. As you can see, they really did on this one. Because if it was, was like a just a random cover, just like with Welcome to a Nightmare, that one is purple. Well, there's not much purple on the cover, and I don't, I don't recall any purple, uh, any mentions of the color purple in any of the songs, so they're just kind of random. Um, they could have, it would have been better if it was like light blue, and I've never seen a light blue vinyl before, at least not the sort of blue that's on Welcome to My Nightmare, so that would have been cool. Here we have the Breadcrumbs EP, that is Cooper's latest release. It's a good little uh, like album, what should I call this? It has uh, some great uh, songs on it, only six though. Would have been cool um, if he would have made some more songs and it would have been a full album. But you know, maybe some other year. <laughs> and here we go to some thrash metal. Fellas Disaster by Exodus. That's really cool. Also love the inside photos of the band. That's awesome. Then here we have Ghost. 
which I love that cover. Just the whole design is so cool. And Ghost makes some great uh, art, like artwork and uh, covers and all. But this one actually comes with a booklet and it got some cool artwork that go with every song. So for example, this one is for From the Pinnacle to the Pit and it's definitely my favorite artwork inside here because it has some great depth and all. And here we got another one. Uh, and each song has its own artwork. So if you want to get like the full experience of uh, a song, uh, what I did once, um, which really made the experience uh, way more awesome, is look at the artwork from each song while you're listening to the song. And it makes the experience a lot better. You got a photo in the middle from the band itself. I just love the theatrical side of Ghost. Like they really care about their image and their aesthetic and their looks and everything. And they nail it. We have Ghost's best album so far, Prickel. Bought this for 15 euros, um, not knowing or thinking that it was a black vinyl. But then I got it out of the inner sleeve and realized it's clear Ghost uh, or smoke vinyl. And honestly, on camera, it looks worse than in real life. In real, oh, it looks uh, pretty, pretty bad, honestly. But in real life, it's it's amazing. I like for fifty euros, not even fifteen euros, because I got it with like two other uh, final records, and those were also fifteen euro. So the total would have been forty five euros. But I actually ended up paying. 40 bucks, so it's that was an amazing deal. That's probably like the best deal deal I've had when it comes to uh, final records. I got it for 15 bucks with this one. This one was also 15 bucks. This is a really good album, actually, surprisingly good because it gets a lot of hate. Um, but it's a good machine in that album, and I, I'm actually seeing them live uh, next year. This is, I also thought this was a normal vinyl, but then I opened it up and realized it was a picture disc. And honestly, whenever you listen to a picture disc, um, it doesn't sound as bad as some people say it sounds. Um, especially the quiet parts sound bad because it sounds like there's a hurricane coming by. Uh, but other than that, uh, Sounds fine, especially when you're playing it out loud, and who doesn't play Machine it out loud, you know? Honestly. Then here, this one I also got for 15 bucks, believe it or not. Metallica's Hardwire to Self-Destruct. 15 bucks. And I also thought this was Black Final. But then I opened it up, and guess what? I uh, even got like a uh, piece of paper in here with like uh, the lyrics and all. But guess what? It's red and like smoke vinyl. This one looks like identical to real life on camera though. So uh, this is the only Metallica album I have so far. I still need to rest and I need them badly because I love Metallica. Uh, I even got like a Metallica chain, which it's like the little star logo to have going on. Uh, so yeah, I don't really like the look of it on a sweater, so it's like under my sweater now. Always with me. This isn't the reason why I don't buy picture disc mostly, because they're packed in this cheap plastic. It's Motorhead's Bastards. It's a good album actually. Uh, just doesn't sound too good. I actually think the machine head uh, picture disc sound better than the motorhead picture disc. Maybe it has something to do with the packaging. Um, maybe it's just a later pressing and they really uh, 
made the quality of pictures better over the last couple of years. I don't know. Here we have Slayer's South of Heaven, which is a great album. It's definitely one of their better albums. I love this cover art. That's so cool. Over here we have Seasons in the Abyss. Which is also a very good album. This is one got songs like War Ensemble, Spirit in Black, Expendable Youth, Death, Death Skin Mask, Scandals of Society, and of course the final track, the uh, title track, Seasons in the Abyss. Here we have Slipknot's All Hope is Gone. This was a re-release from a few, uh, from actually a year ago. We got some cool photos from the band inside, as you can see. That's so awesome. And then, inside you got, oh no, I'll actually show the other one. Because, uh, the other side actually has the band. Which this photo of the band is awesome. I love the masks from uh, All Hope is Gone. Shut up. <laughs> um, for some reason, like, shouldn't it be like this and the final coming out over here from top? But for some reason, it comes out from the side. But this one is on silver vinyl. So, yeah, that's awesome. And this one was actually like 45 bucks and uh, then I looked on uh, from Amazon, the German Amazon. And then I looked on the American Amazon and .com and I saw that on Amazon.com it was only like 20 bucks. So I thought I had gotten, yeah, well, I gotten scammed or like that I uh, just didn't look. Uh, so I was kicking myself for not getting a better deal. But then I read the comments on Amazon.com, uh, or like the reviews, and they all said like, a good album, uh, great vinyl, but for some reason not on silver vinyl. So instantly I was like, oh, mine is not going to be silver too, because it's like mid mid misadvertised, uh, and misadvertised on the German Amazon as well, probably. Um, but then I got it, and it was not silver, or it wasn't silver vinyl. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy, and I guess I didn't get scammed after all. And those other guys got scammed. <laughs> anyway, here we have Slipknot, the Grey Chapter, which is by far or my least favorite album of Slipknot, which is honestly a shame to say, because uh, I want to give this album much more credit, uh, because I love it so much. But it's just that their other albums are better, and... That's honestly a good thing for them because that means that all their albums are amazing. Uh, for even like their worst one is still a really good one. And that was all. That was all I have. Uh, that was my entire vinyl collection. It's definitely growing. Um, I'll probably get some new vinyl uh, records for Christmas and uh, next year. Mm, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, what album should I get? Like what's it like a a uh, album you need to have as a uh, metal fan and hard rock fan. Let me know. Um, this is all I have for now, and I'll do a part two like exactly a year from now, as I always do with collection of videos, or at least most of them, at least my novelization collection. What was your favorite album that I have? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not